Weather and light, two elements in landscape photography that you can't control. Sure, planning is great. Composition, yeah, it's necessary, but sometimes you just have to react. Good morning, everybody. We had a nice storm last night. Man, it was a, a big one. And I've come to an area that I drive past almost every day, but I don't. I've never been down this little side road. I found a little sign on this, this road I'm on here that says federal mining claim. So I'm not gonna drive past it, but I'm gonna walk down this road a little ways. So there's a lot of low cloud and fog this morning because of this rain. The storm is just passing now. There's a lot of lightning, but this low cloud is making it fantastic. This whole area, I'm coming to the east side of the Superstition Mountains. And what I wanna do is get some of these really beautiful dramatic jagged peaks in the fog and low cloud uh, telephoto lens style. I think it's going to be absolutely amazing. So I'm walking down this road now and oh, absolutely beautiful. Well, we made it just up here for sunrise. It took me about 30 minutes to climb to the top of this hill. I'm out of breath and it seems that I made a, a poor choice this morning. Those are the mountains I was hoping to photograph. Uh, I saw as I was driving in uh, the low clouds and the fog and it was just moving through all these peaks, but it's all gone now. <laughs> uh, so there's some really nice layers even from here. So I'm just gonna wait it out and see. Uh, there's a lot of nice color everywhere else, which is, which is about right. You know, it sounds about right. The way that I came to face is nothing. Dramatic clouds and we're getting some light. So, I mean, this still may turn into something. Definitely gonna get out the long lens here, the 100 to 400, and yeah, hope for the best. So there is a little bit of cloud coming through from the north side, or from the east side over here towards these mountains. So there's still some hope, and I have two compositions, right? I've chosen two subjects. There's this mountain straight behind me here that's it really, really nicely shaped. It's got a point to it. And it's prominent, right? And that's that's one something that caught my eye. And there's a little valley that makes a V down here in the foreground. So that's one of my compositions. Now the second one is over here. It's a mountain called Weaver's Needle. And put the Weaver's Needle right smack dab in the middle, more towards the top third of the frame. I'm at about 300 millimeters here. And what I like about this one is that it, there's a bunch of layers and I need some light or something to separate those layers because there's one, two, three, four. There's about four or five different layers between me and uh, in that peak. So what I want to do is hopefully get some kind of light or fog, something to separate those layers. And I think it'll make it much more dramatic and much more impactful, but it is a nice, a really nice subject. So I have two subjects that I think can work out nice, but I need better conditions, light, fog, or both. There is a little bit of cloud coming in. And uh, so what I did was, chose another subject and again I'm, I'm using the layers of the landscape uh, that mountain that's close to me it's just showing the scale it's adding an extra layer providing a little bit of depth and then you have the the clouds and the and the low fog coming off that mountain there it's just separating everything and that's exactly what I'm looking for the layers and then the separation of the layers that's exactly what I need and now this is literally like 30 seconds later that really interesting cloud that was above it is now gone. There's still a little bit of cloud coming in, but it's just, I think that cloud had enough structure in it to really make that photo. And, oh, that makes me happy. I just got it in time, shot it. Now I'm just waiting for other things to appear. So this is more reactive type photography. I'm picking out certain subjects, but then I'm just waiting and reacting to the light, the conditions. And as things start to change, uh, you know, I'm seeing clouds in certain areas and I'm, you know, zooming in with my telephoto lens, which having this 100 to 400, I can't say enough, you guys, how important it is to get as much reach as possible, even with landscape photography. You know, the 70 to the 200 is kind of a main staple, but I really think if you can get your hands on the 100 to 400, no matter what brand you're shooting, they have it, get it. 400 millimeters, 300 millimeters, it does great with landscape photography. It just it changes everything. So the one thing we do have here, I'm looking on my screen, uh, on my radar scope, and we do have a storm coming up to Superior. Now I am, Superior is right behind me. It's about two miles 
uh, to the east of me. So if you can see on this screen here, that storm is coming right up towards me and you can see how dark and ominous it is. So one thing I could do is walk back to the truck, go across the highway to a mountain called Picket Post. And there, there's some, there's some low cloud over that mountain there. It's a pretty big, decent sized mountain. It's a really nice shaped mountain, good for photography. I don't think I've ever actually shot it though. So if I can run down there, it's a 30 minute walk though. By the time that storm gets here, uh, I may have something down there. So it doesn't look like anything else is gonna happen here, but I will show you guys these photos because I think I did get a couple of good ones. And then, uh, yeah, I'm gonna grab my stuff. I'm gonna run down there and see if I can catch something down by picket post. a lot more hiking that I planned on doing today. I originally planned on going to Picket Post and just sitting up there, but because of these mountains, I saw all the fog. Ah, I should've just went to Picket Post. All right, driving out now on this little road. And all right, got down a little bit faster than I thought. It only took me about 15 minutes. Definitely a lot harder hiking up. And you guys know they've been to the desert. Desert hiking is not easy. It is a lot of up and down and avoiding cacti and watching for rattlesnakes. It's, uh, it's a little bit of a challenge, but all right, we're back in the truck and we're off. All right, we got a little bit of rain going on. I'm trying to make it up to the top of this little hill here so I can see. I have a 360 degree view of what's going on course another straight up hill hike it's only natural here in Arizona hopefully no rattlesnakes just trying to get up here as quickly as possible in the rain <laughs> all right we're up almost Oh man, what a shoot. Look at this. This is ridiculous. Look at that. Oh, the beauty of that rain. Everything's getting soaking wet and I just don't care. Oh, F11, two second timer, one tenth of a second, ISO 64. And I'm actually taking a couple of shots. I'm bracketing just in case, just in case. Oh man, look at this. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Oh man, you know, just having doing this kind of reactive type thing most of the time doesn't work out. Really, it doesn't. It's just, it's a matter of chasing and then getting back in the car and chasing again and failing and failing. But I feel like this shot here, this shot is one of my favorite shots that I've had in a long time. And now, of course, I'm super excited. So <laughs> give me a week or two to, to you know, qualify that statement. You know, I may change my mind, but this is just incredible. It's so moody. Oh, so moody. That rain is just coming down in front of Picket Post Mountain. I have these swirls in the foreground that are just, it's just, it's catching your eye. There's some separation there. So it's like leading your eye towards the mountain. You have some amazing moody conditions. It's raining. Oh, all right. It's too much, too much. It's too much. I got to get out of here. Time to pack it up. I got my shots, I think. I'm gonna go back to the truck and wait it out. Oh man, woo! This was, oh, this is the type of photography that I absolutely love. And it's just, it's exciting, right? Like there's a time and a place for the calm and contemplative but then there's a time to just, it's absolute chaos. And this is one of those times and I just, man, I live for these types of things. It's absolutely just, gets the heart pumping, the excitement, you know, you fail so many times. You just, it's constant failure, but then it makes that success so much sweeter. You know, that's why I don't you know, do composites or do anything like that. It's because of these moments right here. You know, why should I drop in the sky when I can just make it so much sweeter when you fail so many times and then just get that one banger. 
Oh man, all right. Lift up the back hatch so I can get a little bit of reprieve from the rain. I gotta wipe everything down now. I don't think I have enough squint. I need to start bringing more like little lens wipes and things because I just, man, it is raining. It is coming down now. All right, guys, getting back in the truck now. It's time to head home. Thank you guys so much for watching. Man, this was exciting. I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. Uh, all right, thank you guys so much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.